Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Video Gaming News Week presented by Ellie. Ba -dum 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 um, cue the music here and let's go. Uh, so, Phil Spencer recently had a little interview with Bloomberg and has hinted at um, a potential or maybe confirming, I don't know, you be the judge of that, that I will be linking down below. Um, apparently, he talked about Microsoft not giving up on making consoles. That is still a thing that they plan to do. And alongside that, he has, in quotations, confirmed um, that they are working on a handheld. They are looking into possibilities and what that would look like for the future. And, you know, maybe finding an innovative um, space there or finding time to be innovative. Um, alongside that, more gaming news here. Uh, not to uh, not to cut this a little too short here, but Nintendo wants PAL World to shut down and to allege copyright infringements are sorted out. So P Nintendo is adamant about pursuing this um, lawsuit against PAL World developers, um, and they are pretty much demanding that they cease all sales of the game that is crazy nintendo is not letting up they are demanding for that to get shut down nintendo also said to release um their nintendo switch 2. uh apparently we could be seeing something on nintendo switch very 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 soon uh, my best guess is that they're going to show it off somewhere around this Video Game Awards. Um, video Game Awards are coming right around the corner, and I have a feeling that Nintendo is going to use that opportunity to showcase the Nintendo Switch 2 pricing and everything. Uh, I believe Reggie, the um, uh, president of Nintendo America, um, hinted at on Twitter um saying that he would like to discuss with um, Jeff Keighley more details on pricing and why uh, the PlayStation 5 Pro um, is too expensive and that shouldn't be that way. Something around that. You could go check it out for yourself. But uh, Reggie has um, definitely tweeted about this. And I don't know. I, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a gambling woman, but if I had to, I'd say that around... Um, uh, the video game awards we're going to hear more information about that speaking of the video game awards game awards confirms elden ring dlc and any dlc is game of the year eligible i don't know how i feel about this i think this is kind of messed up i don't think uh, um uh, uh, expansions or DLCs should be nominated for game of the year what do you guys think of the uh, description below I personally don't think this is good I think they should have a separate category for DLCs or best um, improved games of the year in the video game awards I don't think they should be directly competing with new um, video games of that year I think it's I don't know it just doesn't sit right with me that Elden Ring a game that's been out for a long time um, can go up against games that are new like Wukong or like uh, Metaphor or uh, any other game that is nominated for game of the year. I, I think it's a little unfair. Um, not, not trying to discredit anything from Elden Ring. It's a great game. And that's why I think it's unfair because I think that DLC has really high potential of winning this game of the year. And I don't think it should take the spotlight away from something like Wukong or a, a, a new intellectual property or something that's new out in the market. I think they should have um, some sort of recognition um, and maybe a separate category for, you know, DLCs of the year or something. But that's just my two uh, cents. What do you guys think? Uh, PlayStation 5 Pro launch numbers. PS5 Pro launch sell numbers compared to PlayStation 4 launch numbers chat. Uh, recent reports indicate that the PlayStation 5 Pro is selling as much as the PlayStation 4 Pro in its early days. Considering the high price of the PlayStation 5 Pro, this seems like a big win for Sony mid-gen upgrade. However, though, if you do a quick little search for PlayStation 5 Pro, you would realize that the scalpers are now um, setting their prices below 
what they bought uh, the consoles for. Appa apparently, scalpers are having a hard time moving these consoles, and they are se selling the consoles underpriced because of it. I guess they bought too many, and they're trying to like recuperate their losses at this point. I don't know, but I've done a quick little search myself, and I saw a couple of PlayStation 5 Pros under um, undercut. Yeah. So I wonder what this is all about. Um, let's see. Moving right along. Rumor mill has it that Blizzard is reportedly hiring for an open world StarCraft shooter. Apparently, Blizzard is looking for more talented, more talent um, to push this um, StarCraft shooter out. Blizzard appears to be looking for new staff to assist with development of an upcoming, uh, upcoming game rumored to be an open world shooter set in a world of company's uh, hit franchise StarCraft. Uh, uh, uh. They're looking for principal and senior designers for unannounced game with multiple mentions of open world shooter game. That, I wonder what that's going to look like. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe StarCraft 3. Yeah, who knows? Um, Avowed. Avowed is a new game that just recently launched. Is selling five-day early access for about 90 um, euros. Or 90 pounds. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just got her a word that Avowed is actually coming out in, on February 18th, I think, around that time. So you obviously haven't played it yet, but are you considering playing it? Are you going to try it out? I think I might try it out, but I don't think I'm going to pay, pay 90 for that. I, I think I'm going to skip out on the five-day early access, but are you planning to play it? Um... I don't know, chat. That's kind of crazy. Isn't that like super expensive? I don't think... I don't know. The game doesn't even look that good. Have you guys seen Avowed? It doesn't look that great. And I, it is also surprising to me that it's also being sold on Battle.net. I saw that the, the trailers... Microsoft has been really pushing Avowed recently on Twitter. That's all I see is ads and sponsors by Microsoft trying to push Avowed. Um, it's on Battle.net as well. I don't know what that's all about. Um, are you excited? Are you interested in playing Avowed? It's, it's pretty, pretty expensive, man. Five-day early access. Um, what is Avowed in a ways? Is that like a an MMO of sorts? What is that? It's an RPG, a new fantasy RPG. I don't know, chat. Have you seen much more of that game? If so, are you planning to play it? Did you get five day early access? Five day early access. Uh, game of Thrones. Sophie Turner, Sansa, reportedly in talks to play Lara Croft in Amazon's Tomb Raider TV series. Uh, rumor has it that Amazon's live-action Tomb Raider TV series might have found its Lara Croft. Following reports last month that Sophie Turner was in the running to play the iconic character, it's now being claimed that Game of Thrones actor has reached the negotiation stage. I don't know, Chad. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I like her in Game of Thrones, and I like her as this, like, a villain, um, uh, um, dumb character in Game of Thrones. But I don't know how much, how believable she is as Lara Croft, though. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know about that decision. I think we need to get um, the previous Lara Crofts back in there. No matter how old they are. Bring them back. Alicia Vikander and um, Angelina Jolie. Let's, let's get them back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I think that's it for video game of the week. Um, check out the next video where we're going to be taking up part two of the G star trailers. There's apparently a part two and we're going to be checking that out. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for checking out this video. Leave it down in the comments down below. What did you guys think? Did I leave any information out of this a week? Um, yeah, thanks. Not so fast. Hit that subscription button before you head out. How about that?